skeletons, as I said, that come out from previous years, and we all have them. So I'm going to bring up, obviously, photos that came right. out during your race. Do you really think that that was a detriment to the campaign? I mean, how frustrating was that when that came out? Well, it was devastating. And one of the things that I was really sensitive to as a young woman, and frankly a young, attractive woman, was being stereotyped as not serious, not smart, not serious, not really in it to win. Because you were young. I was young. And a woman, which is And it was my first time you. running. And so, and I was a new mom. I mean, it just, in a, in a conservative district in Virginia, you know, it was a big barrier to overcome just to get people to take me seriously. But I had done that. You know, I, I ran a serious campaign. I had a great team. I was on the ground. I was doing everything right. And then right at the end, I was actually at a um, meeting of retired uh, government workers, did my little spiel, and then I get this text message from my husband that says, um, everything's fine, but... When you leave there, don't talk to anyone, don't check your email, don't call anyone, call me immediately. It's like, all right, everything doesn't seem like it's fine. So the initial news was really, really hard to deal with. And I really just wanted to, I thought about all the people that would be disappointed in me and my parents and all of this stuff. And I really just wanted to hide in a corner. Um, but I actually thought about what kind of a message would that send to future women, men from our generation who have stupid party photos, who might want to serve, you know, to hide in the corner isn't the right message to send for them. So I decided to go to camera that night to defend myself and basically say, you know, this has no place in a campaign. Um, and, and not to apologize, but just to say, you know, this is, our, our voters deserve better.